Hello everyone, my name is Mark Florence and I'm with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about lowest expected temperature as outlined in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. Now as we're talking about the relationship between temperature and voltage, one thing I want to do is go into a little more detail about how sunlight affects this, this output of voltage. And what we're looking at here is called an IV curve, and it's specifically the output based on sunlight. Now one thing that, to keep in mind is that the I stands for intensity of current or amperage, and the V stands for voltage. So if you look at this image right here, when we go horizontally, this is voltage. We start at zero, and we, the further we go to the right, the higher the voltage output of this specific module. And the, if we start at zero and if we go vertically, the higher up we go, the more current that is provided. Now this is off a spec sheet of a Renesolar module. These are the modules that we have on some training, um, a training system that we have here at the Southwest Technical College. And this is showing us the output. So you can see right here, this information, these different colored lines, are actually the amount of irradiance that is provided by the sun, and, and it shows us the difference output of current and voltage. Although the irradiance affects current, it directly affects that, what we're really interested in is the voltage side right now. So you can see from 200 watts per meter squared, that's about 20% of the amount of sunlight that would be available at solar noon at uh, basically on a clear sunny day. 200 watts is about 20%. You can see that at that very, very dim condition, the voltage on this PV sister, this module right here, would be pretty close to the maximum. Uh, on this 250 watt module, it'd be about 35 volts open circuit voltage. And the only time it would be higher, it slowly creeps up if we get to 1000 watts, which is, you can see five times more sunlight, it only creeps it up to about 37, 30, just over 37 volts, so not a big change. What we're saying here is that once approximately we get 200 watts per meter squared of sunlight that's available, that that open circuit voltage, the VOC, which is right here, it's the maximum voltage that module puts out, it is going to be near its maximum level. That's when we're calculating the maximum voltage a solar PV system will put out, we're talking about that cold temperature right when the sun just right when the sun pops up and or basically starts illuminating the sky and it starts to get brighter and brighter in the morning, that's when we're talking. It's about that time before the system is actually even turned on and starts generating current. That's when we're going to have that maximum voltage. We get the maximum voltage when no current is flowing and it's an open circuit voltage before the system energize or before the system actually starts producing power. That's when we receive, we have the coldest temperature and we have enough sunlight that actually activates the system. So that's what we're looking at and the kind of the time period of when the system will be at that maximum voltage. So it'll be earlier in the morning before the sun's actually fully up in the sky. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd either like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.